being less now. They seem to be targeted, often much larger blasts than we've seen previously. Uh, but they appear to be being used to keep ISIS back from advancing, to uh, remove parts of their armor, parts of the things which is hard for those fighting on the ground to actually take on. Uh, and of course now with the Iraqi Kurdish troops on the ground too, there's a more substantial ground force with more capability which right now there's a fight raging uh, to try and besiege the rebel-held areas there. But it's become significant partially because of the fact that TV cameras have been able to record bit by bit, day by day, the fight for that city. That's a rare thing in Syria where access to the war is so difficult and dangerous uh, so much of the time. It has become for the reasons I outlined, important for ISIS and Syrian Kurds, but for the coalition, it became a, a chance to perhaps it, the airstrikes continue to come in, uh, not quite with the intensity we saw over 10 days ago, where we were seeing 60 in just a matter of four days. Uh, we are seeing less now. They seem to be targeted, often much larger blasts than we've seen previously, uh, but they appear to be being used to keep ISIS back from advancing, to uh, remove parts of their armor, parts of the things which is hard for those fighting on the ground to actually take on. Uh, and of course now with the Iraqi Kurdish troops on the ground too, there's a more substantial ground force with more capability to move out ISIS out of the areas they continue to harass inside Kobani. So this could be what the coalition has been waiting for, the ground force to back up the air power it puts in. We have to see in the days ahead if that changes things inside Kobani, Natalie. And we've been talking about Kobani for so long, um, whereas there, there have been other areas, of course, that ISA, ISIS has taken over. Why the significance of this town in particular, Nick? Well, it started out as not being that significant. I mean, on the smaller scale, it is significant for ISIS because if they control that, they'll have a 100-kilometer stretch of the border all to themselves, more or less, uncontested. It's important to the Syrian Kurds because it's part of their broader uh, dream for an independent Kurdish nation. But in terms of itself, it's not as significant as Aleppo, obviously, which right now there's a fight raging uh, to try and besiege the rebel-held areas there. But it's become significant, partially because of the fact that TV cameras have been able to record bit by bit, day by day, the fight for that city. That's a rare thing in Syria where access to the war is so difficult and dangerous uh, so much of the time. It has become, for the reasons I outlined, important for ISIS and Syrian Kurds, but for the coalition it became a, a chance to perhaps impose a psychological blow against uh, ISIS.